Okay, so without using a calculator, it's actually pretty easy to find the sum of this decimal, 0.8, and these two fractions, which is 1 half and 3 fifths. But uh, this is easy if you do this one thing first. All right, so let's see if you do this one thing. And again, the only rule here is no calculator. We have 0.8 plus 1 half plus 3 fifths. And uh, if you have the answer, that is fantastic. Put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we'll walk through exactly how to do this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, now the one thing that I'm going to assume, because we're not using a calculator here, is that you have some basic knowledge of fractions and decimals. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So 0.8 plus 1 half plus 3 fifths. Again, no calculator. Well, the correct answer is 19 over 10. All right, so uh, clearly I decided to work with fractions, and that's a little bit of a clue on this first thing that you want to do. We want to do this problem in terms of all fractions. It's just going to make our life a lot easier. But uh, I'll show you how to do that in just one second. But if you got this right, well, that is super good. Matter of fact, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face in A+, plus, a 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you still remember all that basic math that you learned way back in elementary or primary school. So great job. All right, so obviously we're not using our calculators here. We're just using that supercomputer. And if you don't know where that supercomputer that you have, well, it's located right here between your ears. And again, you need to have some basic uh, knowledge. You have to remember how to work with fractions and decimals. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this problem right now. And if you forgot all this stuff, I'll give you a great suggestion on how you can relearn basic math. But uh, what is this one first thing that we want to do in order to make this problem easy? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the problem. You can see here, I already uh, sh I'm basically showing you the step. Well, we have two fractions. We have a fraction and a fraction, and we have one decimal. So we have to make a decision here. Are we going to work in all decimals or um, are we going to work in all fractions? Well, uh, it's just easier to convert this one decimal into a fraction because if not, we're going to have to convert each of these uh, fractions into decimals. Now, one half, it's not too difficult to convert. That's just 0.5. Uh, so some of you might say, nah, come on, Mr. D2 Math Man. These are not too difficult. But a lot of you may have forgot, uh, forgotten uh, the decimal equivalent for three fifths. Okay, so again, that's why I think working with fractions is going to make this problem very easy. All right, so how do we write 0.8 as a fraction? Well, you can see here, I uh, already got, uh, basically showing you the answer, it's eight tenths. So how you write a decimal as a fraction is basically we need to say it and we need to think of something called the place value, right? The place value. So this decimal right here, the eight is in the what place? Well, <clears throat> we have the tenths place, the hundredths place, the thousandths place. Again, this is all stuff that we've probably, most of us forgotten because if you were to say, um, a lot of you, if I said, what is this decimal? What is this value? Um, I would say the majority of people would say, oh, this is 0.8. Now, some of you would call this eight tenths. And for those of you that actually uh, can describe this decimal in terms of place value, well, that is fantastic. All right, so again, the eight is in the tenths place. So we just kind of write this fraction in terms of the way we would say this. So this is eight tenths or eight over 10 or eight tenths. Okay, so 0 0.8 is eight tenths or the fraction eight over 10. So now we have this equivalent problem right here, eight, uh, eight tenths plus one half plus three fifths. So uh, we have a simple fraction addition problem. Now, remember, we can't add fractions unless we have the same denominator. So we have 10 here, 2 here, 5 here. What is the lowest common denominator? Because we're going to need that. And hopefully all of you are saying, well, that's easy, Mr. YouTube Math Man. The LCD is 10, and you would be absolutely correct. All right, but uh, what do we need to do with that LCD? Well, this uh, fraction already has a denominator of 10. So we're going to have to rewrite 
1 half and 3 fifths such that their denominators of these fractions are uh, 10. Okay. All right, so this is not that difficult. Again, we're talking about basic math here. So let's go ahead and do this right now. All right, so 8 tenths obviously has our LCD of 10. 2, how do we change a 2 to a 10? Well, that's pretty easy. All we need to do is multiply uh, the denominator by 5. So 2 times 5 is 10. But if we multiply the denominator by 5, we also have to multiply the numerator by 5. So 5 tenths, right? So 5 tenths, this fraction, if I said, hey, simplify or reduce that, we get back to 1 half. So we're not changing the value. We're just rewriting it such that it has that LCD um, as its denominator. Okay, so the next denominator here, or the next fraction, excuse me, is 3 fifths. So to change a 5 to a 10, we have to multiply the denominator by 2. So we're going to multiply the numerator uh, by 2 as well. So we have 6 tenths. Okay, so now all of, um, all of the fractions here have the same denominator, i.e. the lowest common denominator. So to add these fractions, all we have to do is simply add the numerators. Okay, so 8, 5, and 6. We're going to add those up. So 8 plus 5 plus 6 over 10, which is our same uh, denominator, our lowest common denominator, 8 plus 5 plus 6, of course, is 19 over 10. Okay, so we are done. Now, some of you might be saying, well, I like decimals better. And you know what? If uh, working with decimals, you know, was if it's easier for you to work in all decimals, then work in all decimals, okay? But it's been my experience that, uh, you know, to do a problem like this, uh, typically it's easier to work in fractions. But to whether you are working with fractions or decimals, you still need to have these basic math skills. So let's go to talk about how you can relearn some basic, basic math skills, excuse me. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to ask you to consider to subscribing to my YouTube channel. I can definitely use your help. I've been on YouTube for a long time. I love teaching mathematics, but really what I love about teaching math is helping people uh, learn math because a lot of people struggle in math and a lot of people struggle in math because they never really uh, understood the basics, okay? And uh, this is often the case for people that are studying, let's say, algebra, geometry. So you here you start off with basic math and then like maybe middle school math and pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. And what ends up happening is people get at these levels, let's say algebra, geometry, and they're struggling. OK, but they're struggling because they never really mastered the basics. OK, but they're like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't want to go back and uh, relearn the basics because I have to focus on learning this stuff. And this is a very common type of, uh, you know, uh, uh, attitude towards a lot of math students. They're like, I don't want to go back and relearn stuff that I already uh, learned. But really, in actuality, people didn't learn uh, a lot of the basics um, as well as they should have. Okay, so don't feel bad, uh, but it's definitely a smart move to go back and relearn and strengthen your basics, uh, basic math skills. It's going to make everything so much easier. Now, if you're interested in learning basic mathematics, I have a perfect course for you. Matter of fact, I have two courses for you. You can find the link uh, links to both of these courses in the description. The first course is called my Math Foundations course. That's a little quick uh, three chapter mini review of all basic math, place value, percent, fractions, decimals, all this kind of stuff that most of us have forgotten. Now, if you want to learn basic math and uh, maybe some algebra, geometry, and some other math, well, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. But uh, these are two good um, options for those of you out there that want to relearn basic mathematics. Okay, but hopefully this little video was entertaining and it helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.